Yo, what is up guys, Blade here, back with a new video, and yes, I'm finally back with a new video, and I know I've kind of uh, broken my consistency of uploading, uh, that's partly or mostly because I started college, and that's been, you know, taking a lot of my time, and boy, do I tell you, it's a whole another experience, I'm just trying to get used to that, but anyways, um, so I'm back, finally, I have time to make a video here, and today we're going to be going over how you can, you know, uh, gain FPS, increase your FPS on Minecraft, uh, say you're running an old computer, computer or a, you just don't have the best uh, computer that you know can run Minecraft decently at a 60 FPS or higher um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can just increase your FPS game and also I'm doing a little quick giveaway for you guys and I've not decided on what I'm actually giving away but I just want to do a giveaway to get back to you guys for all the support you've been showing me lately and if you're interested in this go and check the link down below in the description um, that will have all what I'm giving away because I've not decided yet what I'm giving away as of recording this video. I also have how to um, how you can enter and all that stuff will be down below in the description. So if you're interested in that, go and check that link out. And uh, yeah, so let's get started with the video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your computer icon um, or your this PC icon, which you can go to any folder and click on this PC. And once you're here, you want to click on the computer tab up over here and click on system properties. This will pull up some specs for your computer and uh, what you want to put our attention to is our system type and the installed RAM. So just keep a note of how much RAM you have installed and the system type uh, which I have a 64 bit operating system. If you do have a 32 bit operating system, the launcher um, RAM part which I'm going to show you in a little bit, the first method is probably not going to work out for you guys so you might want to skip that part if you do have a 32 bit computer and uh, we'll get to that just in a second. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, after you have noted down your arch uh, system architecture and your RAM installed, just go and go to optifine.net slash downloads. I'll have this link down below in the description. And once you're here, you want to click on, so you want to find the latest version of Minecraft or whatever version you're trying to play Minecraft in. I just want the latest one, so which is 1.0.2 at the moment, but don't worry, this tutorial will work for any version in the future as well. So let's go and get the latest one, which is C6 over here, and you just want to click on Mirror over here. And we're going to click on this download link over here, and we're going to go ahead and save this to wherever we really want, does not matter. And so you, this is pretty much the biggest part of uh, gaining FPS on Minecraft by using this mod over here, which is really nice. And um, let's go ahead and just double click on it, and this should open up the Optifine installer. Now for whatever reason, if you do get an error when trying to open that up, it's probably because you don't have Java installed for some reason, so um, I'll link the Java document down below in the description and on this page you should really want to get the Java SE runtime environment which is located right here and you also want to get the jar fix file which is the download link is located here so make sure to install those if you're having some kind of problem trying to open up this installer right here but I've opened up so let's go ahead and I'm gonna ahead and install and if you do get this error right here it says you need to start the version 1.12.2 manually once what that means is that um, you have not ran that version of Minecraft yet, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. So that's basically just open up Minecraft, uh, choose 1.2.2 or whatever version it says you have not ran, and uh, play like go into the menu, then exit out of Minecraft. All right, it should be as simple as that. We're just going to go ahead and now click on install, and hopefully it should install. Be fine. There you go. It is now installed. So we're going to hit OK on that. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and open up the launcher again, if you had that error that is. And um, yeah, so we're going to open up the Minecraft launcher. And you want to go ahead and go to launch options, which is this tab right here. You want to uh, make sure you have enabled advanced settings, which should be off by default. So just go ahead and enable that. And we're going to go ahead and click on add new, right? Alright, so um, now we want to name this profile. So I'm just going to name this FPS Boost 1.12. Point two, I guess and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose our version so we're gonna click on this drop down and if you have successfully installed Optifine you should get the release Optifine so that's what I'm gonna go with and that is um, what you want to do too so make sure you have installed Optifine correctly and now we're gonna click uh, check on JVM arguments right so this allows us to allocate more 
RAM um, to Minecraft. So by default, uh, Minecraft runs on one gig of RAM, and um, so I do have a 64-bit operating system, so we can add more RAM to this. If you do have a 32-bit, you will probably just want to leave that how it is, so you can't really mess with that. But uh, since I have 16 gigs of RAM installed, let's just allocate, I don't know, about four gigs of RAM. Um, why not? So um, if you're running mod, if you're running a lot more mods or whatnot, you want to probably increase that as well. But we're just gonna uh, leave it as that for now and hit save, right? And it should have saved as FPS boost 1.2.2. That's right there. And so what you want to do is just click on the news tab right here, and you want to click on this up arrow right here to choose your profile. And we're gonna go with the one we just created, which is this one. And we're gonna hit play, and it should launch into the menu here in a little bit. All right, guys, we're now on the menu of Minecraft Java Edition, as you can see. And uh, if you go to options right here and you go to video settings, you'll now see that this is Optifine HD C6 Ultra. That means you do have Optifine running. And here is where we're going to alter a bunch of settings on here to get you the best uh, performance in terms of FPS on Minecraft. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, leave off my voice from here and just follow all the options as I have it and you should be good. All right, so those are the settings that I went with. Um, of course, you can still play around with your settings just to get the uh, best performance for your um, computer, but this is what I'm working with right now. So um, we're gonna hit done, we're just gonna go back and just check out the FPS gain over here. Now do keep in mind that I'm actually just uh, running Minecraft off of my Intel HD built-in graphics, so I've not switched over to my um, GTX, GTX 1060 graphics card, dedicated graphics card on this laptop. And uh, I mean, just with the Intel built-in one and with all that Optifine uh, video settings, we're getting around 270, 250 to 270 FPS, which is pretty good, um, I'd say. So um, I don't know, every, it will vary for everybody on how much FPS they're gonna gain, but hopefully you'll at least get 60 above if, you're, uh, if you weren't hitting that before. So um, that's about that, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go and move on to some other methods. So uh, another method would be to just play Minecraft windowed just like this in a screen and you can even lower the resolution by clicking on the restore down button over here and obviously that will make it really pretty tiny and lower the resolution a lot but it should give you around, well for me at least, it's giving me around 200 plus um, FPS boost from what I was gaining before so now we're in the 500s. Um, yeah, so that's that. I mean it's not really ideal to play like this but um, if you really are uh, get, trying to get those FPS up, you might want to consider this. So um, the next thing you want to do is have uh, Minecraft running for this step, so just have the game running in the background right here. And the next step is click on right click on your tax manager and open up your tax manager. And from here, uh, you want to click on advanced details over here and it'll show you every program that's running in the background of your computer and if you can just go ahead and end process of any program that you're not really using when playing Minecraft and that'll just help a lot. So another thing you can do is once you're on the tax manager if you go to details and if you look for if you put it down by CPU and make sure you have uh, I mean Minecraft running in the background 
and um, so you can't be in the menu but make sure you're actually in the game like that and where it says Java W that is Minecraft and if you right click on it and go to set priority you can actually set the priority of this really high uh, so your computer only focuses on Minecraft and this should give you a little bit of FPS boost but just do keep in mind it could cause instability uh, if you're only running Minecraft go ahead and set the priority to high or even real time or above normal and should give you a little bit of uh, FPS boost there all right so that wraps up the video for today and um, hopefully you guys are seeing some FPS boost after doing all those methods and if you are if this video helped leave a like uh, to let me know also uh, suggest any other video uh, ideas or any other video that I've done before and but it's not working anymore and you want to see an updated video on it any any of those just leave them down below in the comment section I'll try to do them and um, yeah so that's about it subscribe if you're new uh, like the video if it helped and until then guys I'll be back with a new video